Hi, welcome back to Crutz Puzzles. Today we're going to be having a look at the Hanayama Loop Puzzle. So this is a metal puzzle from Hanayama where the aim is to take the pieces apart and join them back together again. So there's two metal pieces, taking them apart really isn't a challenge at all, they just kind of fall apart, it's putting them back together where there's slight challenges. This one is ranked 1 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty ranking, so it's the easiest style of puzzle that they do. It's not too difficult and I would say it's a good option for kids or if you're really looking for something pretty simple as an entry into mechanical puzzles. You can pick these up on our website if you're interested. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check those out. In a moment we're going to have a look at the solution, so if you don't want to see that I would recommend you stop watching at this point, but if you do want to see the solution, stay tuned. Okay, so now we're going to get into the solution for this puzzle. So, if you t pick it up and play with it, you'll notice immediately it starts to unravel and you're left with two pieces like this. So, the only real challenge here is figuring out how these pieces fit back together again and you might play around with it a little bit and find that you can't quite get them to interlink again. But once you've played around with it enough, you figure out the way to do it. So, what I do is I hold the piece in my left hand with the twist at the top, and the piece in my right hand with the twist at the top, so they're matching each other, and then the first indent here, I'm going to match up with the indent on the far right hand side here. So I'm going to weave them together like this. You'll find that they interlock quite nicely there. You can bring them up and create this shape here. So I've got an inverse S here, and then it literally just kind of follows the corkscrew shape. You can feel the way it wants to go, and that's it, and it loops back in. So take it apart. So the grooves, so you've got the piece in your right hand goes underneath with the far end and over the top on the other end, so you're in this position, and then it's just a simple swivel back into place. So that's the Hanayama loop puzzle. I think this is possibly one of the only puzzles that I could do one-handed. Uh, quite a nice, easy puzzle to get started with, but still fun and it's quite satisfying to get that mechanism back and get it connected together again. So yeah, if you want to check this out, there is a link down below. But that's it for the video today. Hopefully see you in the next one.